you were confined by the walls that you built for yourself. What this means is, is that your entire existence, your reality, everything you think is good, bad, average, boring, exciting, these are all within your mind. They are all choices because only you can choice. Only you exist in your mind. Nothing in the outside world will ever get in here. You can never outsource your feelings, your thoughts and emotions to somebody else, even to be influenced by someone else or to say, I trust you. I believe what you say. I'll accept that. That is a choice. It still comes back to you no matter how you spin it. Everything starts and ends with you and in your mind. Now, most people don't understand this. It's scary. It takes responsibility, but it's also great power, immense power. Because when you realize you can control your thoughts to be anything, life can be heaven or hell. It's all about what you choose. This is why all of the religious philosophies and everything back to the dawn of humankind when we've been able to read and write has been focused on how do we live a certain way? How do we think a certain way? What is good and bad? What is value? What's morality? And they all haven't really been able to answer the question, though the Stoics got the closest, which is why I always have a Stoic book nearby, because they understood that it's not about what happens in the external environment. It's about how you respond to it. Response is choice. Actions are choice. The fundamental delusion of our species is that we do something and then there's a sense of morality in nature, in the universe, to which we should get good things back to us. We want good things, we should get them. We put in effort, we should get good things but you have no claim whatsoever onto what happens in the external universe. You have only a claim to what you do. If it was right what you did, if you if it was invested in the right direction, over time, it'll come back to you, but it's not gonna come back to you this for that, one for one, and it's definitely not gonna come back to you in the way that you expect or want. A lot of times, it's gonna come back to you in the opposite of what you want. That's why the Stokes figured out you couldn't control the randomness of the universe and people and all the myriad of complexity that's around us. It's impossible, but what you can control always is yourself, your mind. You control your thoughts, your interpretations, your feelings, and then your actions. And if you act enough over a long enough period of time, you will be able to manufacture a life that is full of abundance. It's full of success. It's full of whatever things you want. If you decide that you want it, you go after it and you keep investing energy without being a victim, without thinking like things should be this way or that way, and you will find success. That's the key. Get the Better Human newsletter over at thebetterhuman.co.